All right, so first off, um, this is a Norcold. I'll put the model in the uh, description below. But when you turn it on, this model, again, uh, make sure you have, you know, the battery turned on, <laughs> um, that there's actually gas, um, as far as like LP, liquid propane. You know, you gotta make sure that stuff's good. And obviously if, um, your lights not on and nothing's happening when you turn it on this scenario is not the same this isn't what is going to fix your fridge um, but yeah so I mean one way you can tell if, if the gas is on obviously is you gotta use something that has gas you know light this puppy up so hey yo we've got gas I mean so that troubleshooting number one it's good we're good to go but this particular fridge is going to run off either 12 volt so that it can apply power to the ignition system to run off of LP, or you're gonna to need to have the generator on, or you are um, hooked up to, for this particular camper, um, 30 or 50 amp, right? Or 110, you can do it off 110 as well for just the refrigerator. But if all that stuff, you know what I'm saying, you gotta make sure all that stuff's good. But in this scenario, hey, it is good, and it's gonna be the no CO. So I, I'm going to reset it, and I'm gonna show you how to reset it. All right, so this camper has a, a panel, take off. Um, so now I have access to the back of the fridge. We're going to remove the power wire right here, Let's unplug this, and we're going to disconnect the power right here. Once we do that, then we have a couple screws on this panel that we're going to take off. There's one up there on the bottom and the other side. Once I get that off, I'll come back. All right, so here, here we have it. Um, and the reason why they wanted you to remove some more other wires is actually talking about some of these and stuff. But my panel's broken, so I was able to remove the panel with just removing that and just removing the power wire over here. Uh, but now we're going to hook that stuff back up. And, hey, by the way, the fridge needs to be off when you're doing this. Um, and also, I mean, if you want to really be safe, make sure the battery power and all that stuff's disconnected so you're not shocked yourself. But, hey. Um, so we're going to hook everything back up. And then we're gonna go in and turn the fridge on. All right, so the fridge is back on. It's still giving me the code, obviously. I've hooked the power wire back up. If you did disconnect any of this, I'm trying not to touch metal to metal, but if you did disconnect any of these, plug them back up. Make sure you take a picture recorder, start all this, and then plug this back up. So now we're gonna take a jumper wire, and I'll show you my jumper wire in a second. But we're going to stick it inside of this port, this empty port, it's port 15. You can see it, barely, um, but it's empty and there is metal inside there. We're gonna take a wire, shove it in there, make sure it's not crazy big or crazy small. And then we're going to touch it to the ground right here, but on the back side, obviously you wanna to touch metal to metal. Um, it says 15 seconds. It says you should also hear an audible click. Once that happens, then you go back inside, turn the fridge off and then turn it back on. This is, this is my jumper wire. You know, it's, it's nothing crazy long or anything. I stripped it. But make sure the side that you're putting in the empty spot has a, a good amount, you know, pulled off um, with the wire stripper. That way, you know for sure it's actually touching. But again, try not to touch anything else. So we're going to touch just the ground. And you can hear it like buzzing. I can hear that it's on. And we're gonna wait 15 seconds. Oh, I already heard it. We'll leave it there for just a second. Pull it back off. And I'm going to go inside. Again, I'm going to turn the fridge off. And then I'm going to turn it back on. So I turned it off. And I'm going to turn it back on. And while I'm waiting for it to do whatever, uh, just so you know as well, when you have just the battery power on or whatever, this fridge is designed to where it's going to cycle. Okay, hey, what do I got going on? Does it have power? Does it have full power? Does it have, you know, are you hooked up to... 50 amp, 30 amp, what's the situation? And if it's it has at least a 12 volt from the RV, then it'll switch to gas and try to ignite the gas. So that's kind of what it's doing. But you can also switch it between gas and electricity. I don't know why you would want to use gas if, if you didn't need to, but whatever. So right now, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's not giving me the CO code or no CO code. Super ecstatic, oh my gosh. Um, I've done this before, I don't know what causes it, but obviously it is a problem. Um, if you have any questions, so I mean, this is the model number. I'll also put it in the description. If you have any questions, just let me know. I don't know everything about this fridge, but I do know 
that I do not want to buy another one. It's like $4,500. No, I'm good. I'll live without a fridge before I spend $4,500 on the fridge. But something else too, um, the position of this guy, like, I have to research it, but, but either, I think down is hotter, I don't know, but depending upon how high you put this determines as well how cold or hot the fridge will be. So don't, don't get crazy with it. These things take a good amount of time to cool down. So, I mean, if you know that you're gonna go whatever on a trip and you want it cold, plug the sucker up to 110 for two or three days prior to leaving. That way it can help you, especially if the trip that you're taking is only gonna be like two days. But, I'm super excited, uh, super excited. But, all you have to do is reverse everything you just did. So, unhook all of the um, wires that you needed to remove in order to get that cover off. Put the cover back on, put the screws back on, uh, and then reconnect it. And then obviously come back in here and turn the fridge right back on. But if you have any questions, let me know. If you like it, subscribe it. Cut. Oh my gosh. If you like it, subscribe it. What the freak? Don't put that in the video. If you like it, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll answer them when I can.